guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you've seen them on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen them on TikTok. I'm talking about the faux ivory coasters that I created using my Henry VIII collection. Also, some of the items from my line. Stick with me, I'm gonna show you how I created this look step by step, and we're gonna have some fun along the way. Let's go ahead and mix our big batch of epoxy. I'm just gonna slap down 120 mils and then we'll divide it up. We're gonna go ahead and eyeball this about 60, 30, and 30. Here's what we'll be throwing in our epoxy. Dreamcatcher, our shade white alcohol ink, and our cake pigment batter. A few drops of our Dreamcatcher is gonna go into our 30. Mix it on up. We get a nice clear yet cloudy opalescent really nice and pretty and in our 60 throwing in a pinch of our cake that's gonna give us lots of sheer and lots of pearlies and we want it opaque so let's throw in some of our white ink in there a couple squirts and you can adjust it if you want it to be more opaque you can adjust it if you want to have more of the powder effect in there just play with it a little I was happy with what I got we are combining our leftover epoxy into our four medicine cups. We have four glitters. This is the Henry VIII. We have our emeralds, our rubies, our sapphires, and our diamonds. I want this very dense. I want this very jelly-like. I don't want it to be very runny. I want it to be very, 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 very thick. I want lots of glitter, lots of sparkle. So I'm gonna put tons of glitter in there. Not too much to where you can't turn it, but enough to where there's no peek through between the glitter. Again, this is just 30 mils broken up into four medicine cups. Throwing your glitter in there, giving it a nice churn, making sure you're not going too fast because we don't want our epoxy to get too cloudy to where we get lots of air bubbles in there and then you have a very cloudy mixture. You want to have sparkle, you want to see the flakes, you want to see that bam from the glitter. You don't want to see cloudy because cloudy means you have bubbles. You don't like bubbles. All right, now it's time to pour. So we're gonna grab our shade and our cake mixture and we're gonna divide it up into these four quadrants. Just gonna kinda eyeball it. These coasters are just for my tutorial. These are gonna be my coasters. If you're wanting to sell these coasters, I would suggest that you measure them out precisely so that way you can get a perfect thickness on your coasters. Give it a quick pass with your heat gun. Don't linger too long with your heat gun because again, you don't want to burn your silicone. Another thing you can do is take a fine mister and just spritz it a couple times. A little bit of mist of 99% alcohol and this will pop all the surface bubbles. Now we're taking our dream catcher and all I'm looking for is contrast here. I want my cake and my hold up to be a contrast against my gin catcher. It's gonna start to repel against each other and that's when you start to get all the funky patterns and the cool designs that you see when it starts to behave and do its thing. Putting a little heat to it, giving it a little movement, popping a little bubbles. Now we add the pizzazz, the veins. This coaster right here was my experimentation coaster. I didn't know where I was gonna go with it. I didn't know how I was gonna do it. I was just having fun. This was my trial coaster, my first coaster. So I was just kind of going with the flow. And about this time is when I realized I didn't like the multiple veins. I liked one vein, but I'd already dropped it. You can't take it back. So here we go. But when I go and I grab my emerald, I know that I want a single vein. And as usual, I have leftover resin. I always like to prepare more resin than to not have enough because nothing sucks more in this world than to run out of resin in the middle of your project. So I prepare more than I should need because you can always pop it in a mold and make a straw topper out of it or make a magnet out of it, make little trinkets out of it. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just pulling a mold off to the side and popping the leftover resin from my sapphires into a little heart mold. Now we see the design that I'm going for and it's just gonna be a single vein. Using my toothpick, I can manipulate how I want the edge to look my time because I know that this is going to move as it cures. I'm not so much worried about getting the design down in the beginning because it's going to sink and it's going to move as it cures. So I'm just putting one single line down and that's going to be the theme for the rest of my coasters. It's a little bit thicker this resin because it's been sitting so it's thickening up. 
the temperature's a little higher. My advice is let your resin sit, let it thicken up because the thinner it is, the more it's gonna spread out. Don't attempt to pour immediately from your churn. Let it sit a little bit, let it warm up a little bit. I would aim for a good 76 degrees. I am taking them outside now. And as mentioned before, I wasn't really happy with that sapphire. So I made a couple new ones. I'm gonna give them a nice sand with my mouse sander and give them a nice edge up, make them smooth. Take my Dremel and I'm gonna edge up the sides and I'm just gonna give them a nice pass. Now we're gonna take our block sander and we're just gonna smooth them up. Don't forget your edges, both sides, and give them a nice wash in the bath. I use Dawn soap with a little Brillo pad because this is kind of porous, so you wanna get in there and make sure that you're scrubbing it up, you don't have anything left over, and leave them out to dry. Now that we're back in the studio, after they've had a good time to dry, give it a nice look over, and they're ready to get trimmed up with some gold. You can go ahead and you can take a gold pen or you can take a paintbrush to this. There's plenty of gold enamels out there, plenty of metallic paints that you could use. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Deco Color Premium Paint Pen. Just take your time. You don't wanna slip and accidentally draw a line down your coaster. That looks good. Edge it on up. I want my coasters to have a nice little creep over the edge of gold. Taking your time to let it dry. This dries pretty quickly. Everybody's nice and trimmed up. I put them on um, medicine cups so that way I could dome them. I am mixing up about 60 mils right here to get them domed. And I kind of just eyeball it a little bit. Less is more in this process right here. And when I say dome, all we're doing is we're putting a top coat of epoxy. Less is more. You don't want it dripping off the sides. You can always add. That's the easiest way if you don't have enough epoxy. It's a little tricky and hard to take it away. So less is more when you're dropping your epoxy. Now comes the part of patience. This is what I do and how I dome my coasters. I don't really push it to the edge. I let gravity do the job for me and I just roll the coaster around, roll the art piece around, whether I'm doing a canvas, whether I'm doing a board, whatever I need to do to resin coat a piece, I just let gravity pull it down. You wanna let your resin have a nice thickness to it. And the only way to get your resin to thicken up is to let it cure and that just comes with time. So I wouldn't pour it directly from the churn. Let it thicken up, let it heat up a little bit. Give it about a good five, 10 minutes of standing time before you drop it. That usually works for me. That'll get it nice and thick. And then you can count on it to not move as much, not be so liquefied. You're gonna repeat this process with every single one of your coasters. Once it's cured and you've waited about 72 hours, just so that you don't leave any impressions on the front, you're gonna flip it over and repeat the same steps on the back side. Reason I say wait 72 hours is you want a full cure from your resin. You don't want to leave any impressions on your coaster, okay? I did that. So once that's complete, you should have a phenomenal set of very chic coasters to gift and enjoy with friends and family. All of the information can be found in the description below. Shop my store at nmoshop.com. Hit the subscribe button below to catch the next video. And I'll be catching you soon. Bye.